one more story of my army life this is for our medical colleagues i joined in mh secunderabad that is a military hospital secunderabad somewhere in 1986 87 sometime so i was fresh graduate and house surgeon from gandhi hospital what happened in military hospital i was on night duty for the first time we call it dmo duty in one of the medical wards there is one boy with lot of fluid in his lungs and what we are taught in the bedside procedures when there is a fluid in the lung it will causes embarrassment it produces lot of difficulty in breathing and person may die so bedside emergency procedure is to tapping of the fluid that means you put a little wide bore needle directly in between the ribs go into the lungs and drain out that fluid so that that person recovers this is known as a tapping of fluid when there is a fluid in the lung this is because of mostly tuberculosis and other infections i remember this night but actually you are supposed to send a requisition to a physician who is another officer who is recognized specialist by a military but what i did told sister please bring one wild boar needle because this is what we did in gandhi i just clean put one needle took out all the fluid and that person recovered i was very happy and then i thought i have done a wonderful job after finishing a dmo duty i came home next day morning there is a small love letter from registrar of the hospital uh, captain uh, sb choudhary please to be marched out to commandant i said my god i have not done anything i have written duty report also well then i remember the commandant he said captain choudhary you have done very good job tapping of the lung in emergency procedure but don't you know your bloody bum that was not your job your duty is to summon the medical specialist call him and refer him you may be a turum khan you may know lot of things you have no right to perform any emergency medical procedure without the permission of a medical specialist or a senior officer i was literally scared oh my god i said sir i saved his life because he was in respiratory embarrassment and he would have gone into respiratory failure my dear this is not gandhi hospital this is not some unknown uh, unidentified patient who is lying in a ward he is a military soldier he is accountable everything is written every small thing will be called for a court of inquiry you will be thrown out of army or put behind bars i said namaste sir i am very sorry he said no sorry this is your first warning this reminds you need to follow certain rules of army there are no heroes are invited there you cannot do whatever you like to do so that was a very very early lesson on very first week of my joining military itself but anyway it's nice to recollect and share with you thank you for patient listening